So let's see this room. This room has a lot of ammunition uh, things. Look at that. That's just amazing. This is what this bunker is all about. Holy balls. Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is Games of Cakes and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 15.1. In the last episode we did the funeral home, the cemetery and the shamway. And we got a good bit of loot. In this episode I think we're gonna move on, we're gonna go continue exploring to the west and we're gonna see what we're gonna get there. We're gonna try to do a circuit as I explained before to see if we can get back around here and hopefully get a couple of interesting villages or maybe even another Hope City or whatnot, I don't know. Along the way with some interesting loot. Now I have the hard job to do of seeing what is gonna stay and what is gonna go and um, making sure that everything stays protected that we're gonna have to leave behind. But that's another story we're gonna get into in a minute. I hope you're gonna enjoy the episode. And if you do, remember to kick that like button in the ball to support the channel and the series. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. I think I have everything I need. We're ready to go. And um, this is what I'm taking with me for now. So the weapon-wise, I took the weapons that I can put well together. And I made, put, took all the shotgun parts together and all the hunting rifle parts. These parts here, even though this pistol is 600, I have already a 600 part in here. And shotgun short, I'm not going to make a short shotgun. Like the, you know, the pump, whatever it's called, the other one. I'm not going to do that. And SMG and all that, I only had one part. Magnum, yeah, it would be good, but not really going for this right now. So this is the, part, this is the call I made. I'm going to take these with me. Excuse me, I'm gonna take all the ammunition with me and um, the things that I n think we need and we might leave at another POI. Now, I know I'm infected and I don't have any honey on me and I don't have any antibiotics. And I can make antibiotics, while I can make antibiotics in here, I don't have a beaker. So, that's that. I can't really do that. Now, I'm gonna leave the meat behind as well, which is gonna be very good for when we come back. I'm gonna leave everything else here. We can make another forge easily. We have enough leather and enough animal hide. Uh, animal hide and we also have okay come on why can't you get up there and we also can make uh, we also bring the workbench with us so we have everything i think that we need or that i kind of think we need and i'm sure if i leave something very important behind you're going to be shouting at me anyway so now off we go we're going to head this way and see what awaits us there now if you want to know where everything else is here's everything else i have Everything else stored in here now. We've got to put the rest of the brass in. We already have 5,000, another 5,000 iron. So let's put the other iron in there as well and leave the glass in here. There we go. So this is pretty much what I think is the most important thing to take with me. We shouldn't need much more space unless we get more stacks of paper, which is always good. Gunpowder, worst case scenario, we can throw out as well. Anyway, that's that. Enough waffle. Let's go and see what we can find. It's always nice when you find roadkill. <laughs> well, it wasn't roadkill before we got there. We kind of run it over with our bike. But it's always nice. I don't think there's any more room for meat. So, uh, yeah, we're going to leave that here. And what I really care about is the actual um, height and the animal fat for sure. We're going to keep that as well for now on us. Now, uh, with the metal, I probably could craft, I don't know, maybe scrap blocks or something. I'm not sure. And then we could just go from there and do scrap blocks and then burn them again. But I don't know if we actually would lose um, material. Like, say, for example, I have 5,000 and we can, for 50, make, like, scrap blocks. If they don't stack high enough uh, to be worth the 5,000, you know, to make up the stack, if they're just stuck in the same... Uh, what I mean to say is, like, if they're stuck, say, to 250 or 500, and we wasted 5,000 to make the 500, but they still cover one stack, then... It's pretty pointless, like, to convert them. So I don't know if there's anything else that we can make. Like, pressure plates take 80. Oh, I like that. Okay, we're going to take that, actually, for when we get our forge up and running again. There we go. We're going to continue this road. So you know what I'm trying to say. If there is something that's really beneficial, that makes uh, all the scrap uh, easier to carry and less slots... Ooh, the iron fire axe. Yeah, we're going to scrap that. Thank you very much. Yeah, lead is so common that we're just literally going to scrap that straight away. It's only the brass I'm trying to conserve. Then uh, let me know if there's anything you can think of that we can craft and that would save us more space than the 5,000 metal uh, iron wood. Excuse me. Bob, I'm very burpy today. Oh, we have to kill a chicken. We have to kill a chicken. We have to kill a chicken. It's in our quest. Where's the damn chicken? Damn it. It ran away. Ah. Oh. This is so frustrating. I saw the chicken and I was looking at my quest going, yes, we could have, we could do was killing a chicken. <laughs> oh man, anyway, we're going down the road. Let's see what's coming up. Oh, nice, we're gonna scrap a Rooney that. Thank you very much. Oh, nice, I think we found something. 
Look at that. That is nice. And it's actually, wow, this is very close to where we already were. Look at that. That is not that far away at all. So let's see what we have here. Ooh, it's a shanty town, I think. We have a shanty town there. Okay, so let's have a... Oh, we have to kill the pig. Kill the pig. Kill the pig! Damn it. Come on. There we go. Nice. That's counting. Good. And... Oh, there's no... No, we don't need... We don't need any more pigs. Thank you. We don't, we don't kill for sport. Only for quests. Oh, look at that. Is that another bunker? <laughs> that is sweet. How many bunkers are in this game? Is this another bunker? Oh, there's another animal. We're gonna have to kill it. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on. Okay, here we go. Can't believe it didn't hit it. Nice. There we go. Okay. Oh, what do we have here? Boots. Ah, scrap it. Anyway, let's see if this is a bunker as well. I think it is because they always look like that. It is. X. Oi, hello. Um, it is a bunker. Very nice. I like it. So we have another bunker here we could settle down in. That is awesome. If every town has a bunker, then we are okay. We have a chamois here right beside the bunker. That is awesome. And what else do we have? Okay, we have some... Oh, there's a, a bookstore. A buzz's bar. Very nice. What do we have here? We have a working tool stiff, which is absolutely fantastic. And then we have... This is a weird looking house. It's like a bar or something. And then... Oh, an ostrich hotel! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? An ostrich hotel. That is so much loot. Holy balls. Okay, let's see what else we can find. This is quite a nice big town. So we have a bunker in it. Oh man, I wonder. Let me just have a look. Is there... There's so many houses. I'm. You know what I'm looking for? I think you guys know what I'm looking for. I wonder if we can look for a house and find a house with a well. I wonder. So let's go through here and have a little look and see. Oh, that would be so awesome. Could you imagine having two bunkers in the, in the, in the village? I'm always hopeful. I'm always hopeful. And then you could connect them. That would be awesome. Well, we're not going to do that. But let's see if we can find find a, a fountain or something. Oh, well. That is really, really good. Okay, so there's nothing here. Let's have a quick look here. Oh, hello. Ah, here we go. I'm trying to look. I've probably already seen one if I've seen it. And I didn't see it, if you know what I mean. Is that it? No, this is not another bunker there. Okay, no, I don't think we're not. We're not that lucky. Anyway, I think that's all the shops we had. There's a nice coffee place as well. And... We can actually start settling down there. Oh, look at that. And then we go back to the shantytown. I forgot actually how big this place is. Holy balls. And all these little hoods here. That is awesome. Okay, guys. Look at this. Unbelievable. You see what we have there? A well. This is where we are going to stay. Let's park the bike right here between the buzz, buzz bar. Let's take care of these guys with my new club. There we go. That I keep missing with now. <laughs> oh, man. My frames are going to shit because there's so many zombies here. Okay, let's take care of them. Oh, I love it. Love it. Nice. Oh, I love it. And our stamina is doing okay? Ah, it's doing all right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sometimes the animation goes a little bit out of sync. Okay, let's get the stamina back up. Okay, let's hit her in the head. And again. Ah, balls. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's, let's bring them back around over here. We want all the dead bodies in one place. Easier to loot. Oh, seriously. Stupid stone! <laughs> Whoop. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh. 
nearly got caught there. This is gonna take a while, guys. So let me just rotate around them a few million times and take care of them. I think we're nearly done. We have a few more of these guys. We have some stamina back. So let's take care with the club and just finish them off once they go on the ground. If they ever go on the ground, holy balls. These guys are like trucks. There we go. Nice. Love it. Come on now, you're the last one. Well, the last one on the street. Ah, no touching. Here we go. Nice. And in the face. Oh, I love it. Okay, there's some guy in here somewhere. Hello? Hello? Oh, there he's hiding. Yeah, I can't really reach him, so we're gonna have to go through the door. Hey, sir. Nice. With the axe. Did I show you my new shiny axe? It's shiny. It's new. It's sharp. <laughs> okay, I think we got it. Wow, what a mess. Okay, we're gonna clean this up in a second. Now, first, let's have a little look in here. Oh, look at that. We actually have some loot. Oh, we picked something up. What do we pack up? A pack up. Sandwiches and wood. Okay, we don't want wood right now. The sandwiches, maybe, if we can find a beaker. But this should be interesting. We're gonna leave this here, this bike. Whew. Okay. And let's get settled. Let's go and have a look here. Oh, man, this is exciting. Oh, it's locked, but that's no problem. Now it's unlocked. We should probably put a new hatch in. Which I just took some wood out of my pocket. And I don't know why I took it out of my pocket. There we go. Nice. And we have our own hatch. There we go. Lovely. Oh, nice. Oh, balls. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I thought I fell onto the spikes because I know there's spikes down there, but holy balls, that was a close one. Let's take them apart. Nice. We can reach. Lovely. Let's take these guys apart as well, just in case. Now, this door is going to take a while to hammer down, so I'm going to get started on that, and then we're going to have a look inside. This is exciting. Anybody who hasn't seen that new bunker yet, these guys are absolutely fantastic. Here we are. What a beautiful bunker. If this is the first time you've seen this, it is so amazing. I don't know if it's always under the well. I mean, I have seen images and things of uh, tombs underneath these wells, as in wood and sand. But as far as I know in the villages, this is so far for me, it was every time this type of bunker and these guys are amazing because they have so many resources so the first thing i want to do is get settled obviously let's um i already have a chest in the making so there we go let's put this chest here and let's start dumping things in and we also have to repair that and yeah let's just start putting everything in it doesn't really matter let's just put everything in for now and actually the workbench we want to set up and Ex everything except the crossbow balls and my pancho and the knife. Everything else goes into it. There we go. Nice. Love it. And my frames. I need my frames. Now, we're gonna put the workbench um, here. Let's just dump it right there. Doesn't really matter. And let's start looking around. So before we start looting, let's have a look around the rooms. Again, this is mainly uh, aimed at people who are new to the bunker, who haven't seen it before. You Okay, we're gonna have to open all the doors, of course. There we go. So right here at the main entrance, we have the door here to the right. Loads of lockers. There's going to be loads of clothes in there. And then we have the bathrooms here, which hopefully have some weapons, the showers. And then we have the sink with all the cabinets. Actually, while we're here, we might as well. We have, we have an empty inventory. Okay, there's nothing in there. Oh, nice. A cooking pot. Beautiful. So we don't even have to... Oh, man. That is some find already. Look at that. Okay, here we have the bathroom. Let's do that. And that is everything in here. Now, you can take these pipes apart, of course, with your wrench, as I showed you before. And that gives you... Uh, okay, with your right-click, it tries to repair them with forged iron. And in this side, we have the sleeping quarters. You can take the beds apart as well. Let's loot these guys. Oh, they're all empty. Oh, okay, there's a cup. That's nice. Lovely. Look at that. Very nice. Love it. 
And then... What do we do with the cuff? We're gonna repair it? Absolutely. Oh, that's a very nice hood. Yeah, we don't need that really. Look at that though, 48 cotton. That is pretty amazing. Oh, actually we can make cloth fragments from that, so it's all good. Oh, this is actually unlocked. Okay, this door is actually okay. And then we have these guys here everywhere, which I didn't know last time either. These guys can also be taken apart, which is absolutely fantastic. So this means you have tons of these blocks already. And as you can see, if you look at the right, we get all sorts of things. I don't know if you get metal. Actually, I don't know if you get metal components. I think it's just electrical. Yeah, electrical components and electrical parts. That's what you get from them. Yeah, no mechanical ones. But these guys here, do they give you mechanical ones? No, electrical as well. But that's okay. So you have tons of these things giving you electrical. What about the pipes? No, they just get destroyed. And then we have this guy here, which also can be destroyed. Gives you, again, electrical. So loads and loads and loads of electrical pieces in here. This is just for destroying as well. Let's see what we have in here. And then we have this room here, which is the kitchen, as you can see. <laughs> Obviously, pointing out the obvious. Yes, Captain Obvious is here. Um, there we go. It's all empty, though. For a bunker that's like so hidden away, it's pretty empty. You would assume that somebody actually like was living here at some point and left loads behind. And if they would have left for reasons, then well, there's no danger here anyway. Okay, we're sensed. Why the hell are we sensed? This doesn't even make sense. <gasps> it doesn't make sense that we're sensed. <laughs> I mean, they we're so far underground. Genie Mac. Okay, then we have the bookcases here. Look at that. Very lovely. I like it. Oh, we got more paper, and we got killing wabbits. There we go. With a son of shotgun. I'm not gonna make a son of shotgun, though. Oh, no! Whew, we just pulled away just in time. A rocket launcher, we already know. I don't. I think we know everything that exists in this game already. That you can read through a recipe. I think we, have, we, we actually found everything. Okay, this guy here, we can just scrap it, because we're not gonna go through the quest intentionally and do it and then read that and keep that, so that's not gonna happen. These things here, take them apart as well, absolutely. They don't give you mechanical parts. They could, I think they could give you mechanical parts. These lights here, as the other lights, just electronical parts and components. Um, except for these lights, the big lights. We already said that last time, the big long lights. These little ones, I actually have no idea. What do they give? Actually, same thing, just electrical, yeah. So the only one to give mechanicals are the big slinky ones, the big thin ones. And then we have another door here. So now we can go through an 8,000 health door or... Oh, this is actually very thin. I didn't know that. Wow. Okay, this is very big again. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to go through 3,000 stone of concrete, which is okay. That's fine. Don't have an issue with that. I should have done that with the main door. I kind of powered my way through 8,000 health points of steel. Look at that. Oh, is there anybody coming in, actually? We're gonna have to be careful about that. What I want to probably do is put this frame here and kind of lock up. Now, we can't really lock up the hole, so... um. There we go. We can do that. At least they won't be getting in that easily. There we go. So let's see this room. This room has a lot of ammunition uh, things. Look at that. That's just amazing. This is what this bunker is all about. Holy balls. The loot in here is just insane. So I'm going to open all of these. And then we got... Well, I'm going to uh, kick them all open. But I'm not going to open them. And I'm going to destroy them all to, to be ready to be opened. That's what I meant to say. And then we're going to have a look into them. So let's have a look at everything. These guys were shotgun messiah crates, all three of them. Look at that. <laughs> There's three parts in there. Our oh, hunting rifle receiver. And nothing. <laughs> and then we have the ammunition box, which usually is very disappointing. But oh, three rockets, that's not bad. Oh, look at that. That is. The holy crail, holy balls, look at that, that is insane. There's so many uh, shotgun short stocks, seriously. But hunting rifle, shotgun long barrels, balls, this is amazing. Maybe we get a, f a weapon actually together. Oh, and what is here? Oh, nothing, 
Are you for real? Cereal? This was empty. This should have been full of diamonds, like... Should have been the lost gold from I don't know where. Anyway, we have a lot of destruction to do and a lot of havoc to cause uh, to get all these resources. That's gonna be amazing. All this metal in here, that's gonna be insane. And the electrical components and everything. Oh, there's a box hiding behind the sofa. Oh, and look what we found! A plastic! That makes a difference! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna leave the episode here, guys. This bunker is absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaß and happy gaming. Holy balls, there's like three nurses out here. What the hell? It's a nurse convention. Now one of you must have antibiotics on you. Oh well, it's worth a try. Let's clean up, I suppose. Oh.